I like the color on this thing. So I stopped at Pacific Honda today to grab some shit for the hatch. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be swapping the oil pan because the oil pan is super dented in. And I believe, like I said in the last video, I'm possibly slightly choking the motor. So I'm going to be taking the oil pan off, redoing the whole gasket. I already have another oil pan. Once I'm done with the oil pan, is I'm going to bend the pickup. So that way, even if the oil pan does get smashed in, the oil can still have enough room to slide in and to pick up to actually uh, suck in the oil. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And then I gotta swap out the axle, so I gotta go to AutoZone and go home. I gotta go home first and see if I still have the, the axle for this car. So with that being said, we're gonna stop AutoZone, but boom, your boy picked up some 10W30 synthetic blend oil. And then I had to get a drain plug because I wanna replace the other one. But back to the axle, I already ha have a used axle from AutoZone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that axle that's in the box. Hopefully it's still in my garage and I didn't throw it away. I'm gonna take it to AutoZone, go swap it out. Cause I still have that warranty on it. And trumpets. But yeah, I'm gonna go swap that out because of the warranty. Hopefully it's, it's still covered and then we'll be good. So let's get to it. All right, you know it's gonna be a good day when there's no line in and out. Ooh, no line. I mean, no crazy line. All right, so I already ordered, but what do you guys get from in and out Go ahead and drop it down in the comments and let me know what y'all get. I get a four by four protein style, meat, cheese only, large pink lemonade, and some cheese fries. So let me know what y'all get. Ooh, this shit look good. All right, so it's been a super long day. Uh, as you can tell, it's dark outside already. My hands are dirty because I've been going back and forth to people's houses doing like fender rolling, coil over adjustments and shit like that. So I had to run to AutoZone real quick to go do my axle, which I already got. I was able to pick up some JDM headlights from my homie Mike. So I got those right here. I'm about to clean them up and then get them hopefully looking good. I got to kind of fix this one. So this is gonna be like a little project because where the corner light goes, it's missing a little tab, so I'm gonna have to try to figure something out for that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to clean these up as best as I can, cause you can tell this one we tried a little bit already. This one's like super yellow, but we haven't even I haven't even tried cleaning yet, so it's gonna be a little project, but that's that. I was able to warranty out my old axle from my 2000 Civic, but since it's a single cam, I'm able to use the axle all over again. I got the oil pan gasket and. I have the oil pan right here. Don't mind all the water bottles, but I need to clean this out. I'm probably gonna end up doing this shit tomorrow because it's kind of dark and I gotta clean. I wanna make sure that this thing gets super clean and I still gotta clean all this gunk. So that's probably gonna be a tomorrow thing and I'll do the axle today and the car will just sit in there. All right, so here's the status on the headlights so far. I was sanding this one right now with 1K grit and this one's unsanded. So as you can tell, like I said, this one here earlier with like some compound and uh, some other shit but i wanted a wet sand and 2k clear them so that's one pass right now with the 1000 i'm about to hit this one so you can see the before that's the after with the sand so i'm gonna do this one with a thousand i'm gonna finish this one with a 2000 2000 and then hit it with 2k so let me finish this and i'll show you guys once i'm done so you can see all the yellow stuff coming off pretty much all like the sun All right, so fast forward, I uh, wet sanded all the headlights and here they are. Said I already sprayed them with some 2K clear. Said I ain't no professional, but they, they clean, they clean. 
So a lot better than what they looked like before, way better. But here they are, and uh, once they're done drying, I'll go ahead and take them off, and they're gonna sit overnight, 24 hours. But yeah, there they are. And for everyone that's gonna ask what did I use, I started off with 1,000 grit wet sand. I did a couple passes, 2,000 grit wet sand, and then cleaned them all up, get ready for 2K clear. And this is what I use, 2K. Clear Glamour, you can buy this like any automotive paint shop or where they sell paint. Here you go, this is it. Uh, another thing, for everyone asking where I got my spindle shortened from, or who shortened my spindles, I got them from my homie. I don't know who did it for him, but I already bought them used. I do know someone here in Cali that does shortened spindles and like custom, like angles, uh, spindles and stuff like that. I'm gonna tag him right here. His name's like Burnout Star, I believe, but I know some of the homies have went to him and they've got like their shortened spindles with a little bit of angle in it so they can run more camber. As for me, I bought them already done. Yeah, so I'm sorry for everyone that, I don't know, that's what I'm gonna do that I know right now in Cali that does them. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more East Coast dudes that do it because they're all into that whole super camber, demon camber shit. But yeah, so you can hit them up. Don't ask me for prices, ask him for the prices because I can't put prices on people's shit. And like I said, I never bought a set from him, but I know he does it, so there you go. So, the headlights are done. Like I said, they're gonna dry for 24 hours. I think they came out pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Just for a quick wet sand and re-clear. Uh, we'll see tomorrow in the sunlight how they really came out and then after they dry and stuff, so. That's cool on that piece. Um, I gotta do the axle tomorrow. But like I said, since I'm doing the oil pan, I'm gonna do everything all together. I got the Phil Pro gasket. I fear people had like issues with it. I haven't had any issues with it. Oh my, that's the only really gasket I use. And then here's the oil pan. This is the part that took me the longest to get all the shit off of it, but it's all off. Yeah, so I'm just gonna make sure that all the gasket maker, cause some of the gasket shit did fall inside of there. So I gotta like clean it out tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that. But um, I was gonna do it tonight. But it's like I said, it's midnight. I'm tired. All right, so it's morning time. Uh, I just woke up. You know what I'm saying? Getting ready for the day, and uh, getting ready to attack this. It's oh, well, my watch is updating. Um, yeah, I think it's like eight, eight thirty, something like that. But gonna get ready to do this oil pan and axle. So let's go ahead and pop the hood, and I have to undo the headers so that way I can take. <sighs> the AC is gonna be a bitch because it's in the way. Man, here's a setup single cam, cut shock towers, and that's it. Um, I don't really have any plans on swapping it. So, got like 100 and how many miles this shit has? It's 197,000 miles. But yeah, I don't plan on swapping it unless the motor blows, which I don't think it's gonna blow anytime soon. So, just gonna stay like this all stock ac everything works and uh yeah so got the oil pan all cleaned up got the gaskets got to make sure the oil pan all the stuff is out all the gunk and the headlights are done right here i'm gonna put those in the sun to bake for a little bit today and here is the new axle does it have axle on that bet so i warranty this out purchased one in 2020 and got a new one their last gold it's good to have autos on warranty because if you got like a car like this, I mean, it's good to have it regardless if you're gonna run autos on axles because you can just swap these bitches and like, warranty them out anytime. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna jack the car up, get it ready for me to uh, go ahead and swap the oil pan, the axle, and do all of that stuff. And then when the car's in the air, I'm gonna drain the oil and all the other stuff. So let's get to it. So let's grab this and let's take off this heat shield. Now the fun part is taking off all the header, uh, all the bolts in the header. I'm gonna disconnect the O2 sensor, and then uh, we'll pop that shit right off. And I'm gonna go under just to see what else I need to do. Um, there probably might be a, a bolt. I think it's right there. It's like hold on to the header. It's kind of weird, but yeah. Here's the oil pan. You can tell like it's got a huge dent right here, a huge dent right here. The pickup is right here. You can tell it's scraped right there a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is replace the oil pan, put a new gasket, and while I have it off, I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna bend the pickup. Cause like the pickup is pretty much flat. Um I have another one which I think I can show you, but the pickup is flat, but if you bend one spot in, no matter if the if the the oil pan comes up and gets dented in, since the pickup is bent, it still has room to pick up oil so it wouldn't cause an issue. So yeah. 
So I'm going to get to unbolting all this stuff and then let's try to finish this as soon as possible. I hope. There it is. This is a pickup I was talking about. I think it did get dented in. Because you can tell, like, it, usually it's flat. So, I mean, yeah, it could have been good, but I'm just going to make sure 100%. All right, so here's the pickup, and this is what I was talking about, bending it in. So, you can tell, like, right here, it kind of got crushed in from the oil pan already. But basically, all you do is you bend it out. Oh, shit. So even if it does get crushed back in, this piece right here will be bent in so that way this can still pick up oil if that makes sense. So this is probably going to get smashed back up, yeah, but there'll still be enough room for the oil to get through. Alright, so that is what the bent pickup looks like. So that way if it gets smashed in, there's still plenty of room for the motor to grab oil. So we're good with that. Uh, I got to get the other oil pan ready, throw the gasket maker, the Honda Bond on the corners, and then we'll slap that one right on. And I can, I cleaned up the, the bottom of this a little bit. So uh, we'll make sure to get it all ready to go. So my axle ripped. As you can tell, it's grease everywhere. Grease caked up right there. So we're gonna change this axle out. Like I said, I got my warranty one uh, from the other Civic I had. It's the same thing, single cam axles. Pretty much all fit. I think EF is different, but we got the axle, so let's go ahead and get this thing swapped out. I got everything, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disconnect uh, the 17 mil right here. Then I'm gonna have to break the ball joint, let the lower control arm fall, break the axle nut, and then remove the axle and put the new one in. So hopefully I can just get it in one shot get the axle seated all the way when I put it in and hopefully it would be good so let's get to it all right so my GoPro died but the new axle is in um, just pop it in push it in and it seals into place and make sure it's all the way in if not it'll click and it'll still leak but yeah the new axle is in I'm about to finish it up hopefully the GoPro doesn't die but I'm gonna try to do this really quick the axle is all the way through and I'm gonna put the axle nut to hold it into place gonna do the I'm going to put the lower control arm back to the, the fork and then make sure the ball joints pop back in as well. So I already checked. We're good back there. The axle's pushed all the way in. We're going to tighten down the, the lower control arm bolt. Tighten down the ball joint castle nut. And then we're going to tighten down the axle nut and then tap it in and we'll be good. Right, so pretty much I'm just going to tap the flathead so that way the axle nut goes into there and prevents it from rotating. So pretty much like that. So now it's like a little lock kind of just for like safety, I guess you would say. But uh, let me put a carter pin back in the lower ball joint and then we're done. All right, so I'm gonna run to the dealership real quick, grab some manual trans fluid. Cause when I had the car lifted up and I forgot to angle it so that way the trans fluid would pop out. So when I popped the axle out, all the trans fluid came out. So I need to go buy some trans fluid, re top it off. And then I need to stop at AutoZone too because I don't have like the little bendable uh, funnel. So I need to do all that. And then I'm going to head out and roll some fenders. But ready to start it up. Starts up good. Sounds a lot better because I did hear like a little ticking or something. Which sounded like that's why I was getting the hint of that the motor was getting choked. But we're off to AutoZone in the dealership and we'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. Ran to Honda real quick. Grabbed some manual transmission fluid. And I had to go to AutoZone because I didn't have the little... Um, funnel with a little tube to go into there and I felt like making one so it was a quick stop so I'm gonna load this uh, transmission fluid and then I gotta dip out to go do some fenders and make some money real quick so after that like this is done start the car let it run for a little bit and then I'm out so mm -hmm. 